In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between using a single flat plane or solid box geometry for your modular environment assets. What the difference between the two are, the pros and cons of each, and which one you should use, especially for UE5. But this can be expanded to other game engines as well. So let's get into it. Here I have a scene in Maya that contains both modular geometry that are flat planes and also modular geometry that are solid cubes. And I've also imported these meshes into UE5 to show you the difference between the two and I'll be using both of these scenes as an example. And if you actually want to grab these project files to analyze as well as to use, I'll put them up on WOLD Patreon and you'll have both the Maya scene file, the FBX exported files, as well as the UE5 assets. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at simple geometry, simple plane, and then a cube. I'm gonna isolate these two, and this first one on the left is a simple plane that is the size of a standard wall, 300 by 300, and it's this one right here. And then we have a solid cube that's also 300 by 300 with 20 units of depth. That's also a size of a standard wall for UE5. Now, of course, if you take a look at a single plane, from the front, you will see the geometry itself. But if you take a look at the back, the back face will not be rendered. It's completely invisible and it will be see-through. So what you have here is a simple plane that's rendered on one side, simply by creating a plane inside Maya. We're going to create polygon primitives plane. And then for the cube, this is solid piece of geometry that is going to be rendered on all sides because the geometry is visible everywhere. Top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. And this, of course, was created from a cube. by going to create polygon primitives cube. So flat planes are going to be rendered from one side where there is geometry. Thus, they're going to give you less triangles and less vertices to render. Solid boxes will be rendered from all sides, no matter what the player will be. But they will contain more triangles and more vertices to render. As you can see, this is a simple plane and you have only two triangles. This is a cube and it has 12 triangles. And for single planes, you only have to worry about one side, but for solid boxes, you have to worry about both sides. So if the triangle count is the most important thing to you, you may want to go with planes. But if the triangle count is not something you are concerned with, as geometry is very cheap nowadays, you'll want to go with solid boxes. Now the next and probably the most important issue with considering flat plane geometry versus solid box modular geometry is how it occludes lights and how it will cast shadows. So if you have single plane modular geometry, anything that's not rendered will be see-through, so the player will be able to see right through your geometry and it will not occlude light. Only the faces that are seen will block light, while solid box geometry will work how you would expect it. It will cast proper shadows, no matter the position, and it will block the light correctly. So inside UE5, I have exactly the same meshes brought in. Here's a single plane, and here is a solid box geometry. And as you see them from the front, and we have light shining onto them, it will cast proper shadow, because we see the geometry itself. If we circle around both pieces of geometry, you can see that the single plane is not rendering any faces, because they're not there. So we're seeing right through it. And if we take the single plane and we rotate it 180 degrees, you can see that it's not casting any shadow because there is no geometry to block the light. While we see the plane is just not blocking any light because it's absent of any geometry to do so. So this is probably one of the biggest drawbacks of using single plane geometry for your module assets because it does not block light. So if you wanted to block light on both sides, so let's say you want a geometry on one side and you want a geometry on the other side so the player doesn't see right through your geometry, right through your meshes, you'll have to either duplicate this existed plane and rotate it and then position it to the other side, giving it a little bit of depth or use some other geometry to block the other side so the player doesn't see through it and it's able to occlude and block light to cast proper shadows. While solid piece of geometry, solid cubes for your modular meshes will work how you would expect regardless of the position, the rotation, and you don't have to worry too much about invisible faces or lack of shadow casting or lack of light being occluded. And in UE5, it is highly recommended that you use solid box geometry for your modular assets, 
rather than single plane geometry. And this all has to do with how lumen works, how dynamic lighting works, how it occludes and blocks light, as well as preventing light leaking. So another big limitation of single planes for your modular geometry is that it may begin to light leak. So you may have a room that's completely solid from all sides, but the way lumen works and the way it calculates lights, and because this is paper thin geometry and it's not a solid piece of geometry, you may get some light leaking coming through the gaps of two walls, let's say right next to each other. Or if you have the floor and the ceiling, you may get some light leaking through where it should be dark, but the light will begin to leak through because these are paper thin geometry and not solid block geometry. So to show you this as an example, here I have two rooms created, one out of single plane geometry and the other one is solid box geometry right here on the right. And inside here it's very dark on both sides. If we go inside the single plane geometry and go into this dark corner, you may begin to see some light leaking happening right here on the corners right up above. And if you move the camera around at certain angles right there, you can see that light leaking coming through. Even though there is no light on the other side and everything's being occluded, the way the lumen light works, it does not like paper thin geometry. And this is what you're going to experience with single plane geometry and light leaking through into darker areas where there shouldn't be. But you're not going to get the same issue if your geometry is solid blocks right here. I'm inside the corner in the same corner in the same area but with solid box geometry and you can see that we're not going to experience that light leaking as you do with single plane geometry and if you take a look at epic games documentation this is lumen technical details doc but under workflow limitations it suggests that your walls your floors your ceiling your geometry for your environments should be no thinner than 10 centimeters to avoid light leaking and it warns you about distance fields and one-sided geometry now single plane modular meshes can still work, you just have to be extremely careful how you use them. As this structure right here, entirely made up of single plane geometry. So if I pull this off right here, this is a single plane. On the inside, I duplicated the same mesh and I rotated it so we have some geometry on the other side as well. So it's the same wall, just rotate it. And this entire building right here is all single plane geometry. So if I go inside, it's not going to light leak as bad as the other example because I have everything closed up and closed off from light on one side and on the other, including these little trims right here to block light right there where two walls meet each other on one side and the other. And I also have these two walls. I have a slight gap. I have 20 units in between them on one side and the other. It's kind of hard to tell, but these are two walls. Here's one and here's the second one and I left 20 units in between each other, as suggested by Epic Games that you should have some depth of at least 10 centimeters between your geometry to prevent or reduce light leaking. So as you can see, it still can work. It's just going to be prone to light issues. While solid modular geometry does not have that issue because it's a solid box, it's rendered on both sides, it occludes light very well, it works great with lumen, and you will avoid any light leaking issues with solid modular geometry. And also to mention, by using single planes, this building right here took a lot longer to construct because it was more difficult to work with because I had to duplicate single planes on one side to the other. I couldn't see one, so I had to align them perfectly by constantly circling around. Same for windows. I had to have one, then I had to duplicate, make sure that I had 20 units, then I had to rotate, and as you can see, it's very difficult to know what you're doing. So I had to constantly fly around, go into orthographic viewports and align these two together and then make sure that they were one in front of the other. And then I would duplicate and construct the entire building. So this construction wise and time wise took a lot longer, but it was a lot simpler for me to just take a single cube, a single box, a wall, a doorway or a window and just duplicate it. And this was a fraction of time to create compared to single plane geometry. So for UE5, modular geometry is best rendered and lit using nanite geometry and lumen lighting by creating solid box geometry for your module assets. And very last thing is about collisions. By default, UE5 had problems generating automatic collisions on single plane geometry. So I'm gonna open up the plane wall. And by default, when I imported all these static meshes, I enabled 
how to generate collisions. But for single planes, it did not generate any because it had problems generating them. So if I go to show simple collisions, there will be no collisions for single plane meshes. But if I open up the solid wall and go to show simple collisions, it generated collisions for solid geometry, no problem. So if I go back to plane geometry wall, you can still regenerate collisions by going to collisions and use add box simplify collisions, for example, and it will generate a collision for you, a paper thin collision, but it will work. But again, UE5 does not like thin geometry and you may experience some collision problems, even though you generated one in UE5 and you may have to tweak it. So also when it comes to collisions, solid modular geometry works a lot better for collisions. In addition to all the other benefits you are getting with solid modular geometry. So just something you need to be aware of as well. So in summary, single plane modular geometry versus solid box modular geometry. Both will work, but solid box modular geometry works a lot better in UE5. It works better for nanite geometry. It works better with lumen lighting. It creates better collisions and it's a lot easier to construct your environments using solid box modular geometry rather than single planes. Now that doesn't mean that you should always use solid box and never use single plane geometry. This can still work. You just have to know the downsides and the limitations when it comes to UE5. And in fact, you can sometimes combine these two methods into your own hybrid method of creating your modular geometry. But I would recommend sticking with solid box geometry to avoid any issues when working with modular geometry in UE5 with nanites and lumen lighting. And if you want to learn how to create modular geometry completely from scratch, from very beginning, I have a modular environment design masterclass tutorial course. This is the complete ultimate guide to creating modular environment assets from start to finish for UE5 using Maya and Substance Painter. And you will learn the entire modular creation pipeline all in one single tutorial course. The course is available right now and I will see you in there.